uh, you know, the beautiful part of, of, of playing basketball in November, and we're still in November, is that win, lose, or draw, there's going to be things that your team has to get better and develop. And, you know, this was our first kind of close game, our first time coming back from behind. Um, and the resiliency of our team, I'm obviously very, very impressed with. And now I'm excited to get go out and watch the tape and, and have us understand, okay, there's a lot of little small things that we did, especially in a game like this when every possession is, is magnified that we're going to lo- learn and grow from. And that was whether we would have won or lost the game. It's going to be a great moment for our team to grow. Questions for the players? Uh, DJ, did you know you were going to throw that shot as soon as you got the ball from Nick? You guys are down one, less than a minute to go, and you get that, that deep, deep three. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't plan on that. I, mean, I didn't, you know, when I was bringing the ball down, I didn't think about it. I was just trying to attack. You know, uh, there was like 35 seconds left, and uh, I was open. You know, me and Coach work on that, that shot every day. Before practice, before game, so I just stepped up and knocked it down with confidence. How's that feel down the stretch, being able to, I guess, get that monkey off your back, if you will, in a close game like that? You guys haven't been tested in that capacity so far. It feels good. You know, that's a good team. You know, they're old team, and uh, you know, it just feel good to be able to hit a big shot and you know put my team up. What's it like to, to finish off a close game early in the year? Everything's been really easy for you guys so far. What's it like to be really tested and pushed and, and, and have it be a one possession game with less than a minute to go? Uh, well, just like Coach said, you know, it's an opportunity, I think, to, to grow, um, to get better at some of the things that we didn't do so well tonight. Um, but we're, you know, we're thankful for the win. Uh, we did enough things to, to come out on top. Uh, but like Coach said, we're, we're going to try and get better, grow from it, uh, and improve on the things we need to improve on. Was the foul trouble as much as anything that threw you guys out of sync in the second half? Um, a little bit, yeah. I, th- I think we fouled uh, way too much. Uh, we put them on the line a lot, uh, which kind of you know broke the game up. But uh, like I said, we, we did enough little things to overcome that uh, to, to come out on top. So uh, for either player, did you, either of you guys seen a dog pile the way you saw on that jump ball at that long? It looked like there were all ten guys in one big group, and we had some <laughs> jumping in over the top. And either of you guys seen a play quite like that? Like yeah, you could jumping yeah. in on top. Yeah, we were just talking about it. I just I just didn't want the ball to pop up, and you know they end up getting a layup, a fluke layup, or something like that. So I just, you know, tried to put my Julius Peppers on. <laughs> <laughs> but have you guys seen a play quite like that, where eight guys, nine guys arrive at the ball at the same time? No, nah, that just shows how, how how willing we, you know, how to get on the floor, and, you know, sacrifice our bodies. And to go along with that too, or game remaining composed uh, in a play like that, and then down the stretch as well, uh, saw a little bit of frustration out of you guys, but generally stayed pretty calm. Uh, yeah. How big is that for you, Coach? Coach, you know they uh, they got us, they got us calm. We were all riled up, you know, and uh, you know just got into it in the game. And, you know, Coach just calmed us down. Coach, can you just kind of speak on the intensity of the game, just kind of building off that, how you guys were really able to grind this out? Yeah, I think you know every night's not going to be uh, pretty, you know. So you got to find your ways to grind it out when you can. Tonight was going to be one of those nights where, you know, they're a veteran, experienced, physically strong basketball team. So it was going to be a grind out game. We kind of knew it, um, and uh, you know, again, I take I give them a lot of credit. They didn't quit and they kept coming at us every time we made a run. They made a run back. So, but again, every game is is, is a learning lesson, and, and we found ways to win tonight. And that's what you have to do. It's not you know, every night's going to be different. Different guys have to step up. We had some some productivity off the bench tonight. May not have been scoring, but there were some big stops. Some guys got on some guys and who had it going for them and, and, and got a big stop. And you know these are team type wins. Close games are team wins because every play, as I said earlier, is so magnified and every little closeout, every little pass becomes a big play. So that's the beauty of playing games like this. Did you say this was the perfect night, uh, seeing that you're going to be going on the road? This is your last home game. No, like, like I told the team, I mean, you know, we, we huddle up if, after the end of the game, and, and I've said the same thing to them every time. The only thing you could hope to be after six games is 6-0. and oh. Nobody asks how. You know, you learn from the things you, did, you, you didn't do well. You, you keep improving the things you do well, and you move on to the next game. There's going to be a lot of things we could take from this game, um, small, small little things, and I'm looking forward to, to get back in the film room and get on the practice court and get better. Coach, you guys have played five games in the last 13 days. Have you had any concerns about fatigue or anything like that? I did tonight. Um, you know, we, I think we played, you know, in particular these two guys, I think, you know, too many minutes. It was a weird type of game, though. You know, every possession was so valuable, it's hard to, to take them out and put guys you know, that haven't been in that type of environment a lot. Um, but I, I was concerned about it, and especially when we got foul trouble. I think some of the fouls were position fouls, where guys were just a step late, um, and that might have just been fatigue a little bit. But, uh, you know, you got to find a way to gut it out, and, and I think we did. 
minute and a half mark, you, you called a timeout, and DJ had just gotten caught in the air and you know, almost turned the ball over. What did you tell your team that they ended up with a two-handed slam by you know, we, we executed. We ran a play that we we have been running, and it was been it was open earlier in the night. So we went, kind of went back to it, and uh, I thought John Smith made a phenomenal cut, and DJ found him at the right time. I mean, it was open. I mean, it was a good play. Uh, you know, it, it was open. We actually got a earlier in the game. We hit Evo coming to the top on the same play. So it kind of in the back of your mind, you're like, okay, they're having a tough time with that. So it was a great play. And, you know, these guys make the plays. It's just diagrams until they make the play. Could you talk a little more, a little more about how John's played uh, last game, 13 points. This game, he's got four blocks, three steals. Yeah, John is, you know, John is the, you know, he's such a cerebral player. I mean, he's, but you know what, he works at it. I think one of the things that, that he doesn't get enough credit for, like John will come in and watch a lot of film on the guys he's going to play and kind of pick up their tendencies, kind of like a football thing. And I give him a lot of credit for that. He he understands what he can do. He understands what he can bring to the team, and because of it, he's so so valuable. You know, because he's, he helps out on, when guys make mistakes, you know, and, and he's a valuable player, I mean, as, as they all are. I mean, there's not one guy on the team who plays that, that, that doesn't contribute, and that's, uh, you know, that's been rewarding. The only, the only discouraging thing tonight was out of the six games we played, this was the first time that we emphasized something and didn't do it in the game. We emphasized keeping them out of the lane and on penetration, and I thought that at key times in the game they penetrated at will. And that's something that we're going to have to learn because up until this point, if we try to take something away from them, we did a great, we've done a great job in doing that. And tonight, to their credit, because they're really good at it, um, you know, I think they get fouled in the top 50 in the country. So they have really strong physical driving guys. And, uh, you know, I give them credit, but we have to do a better job of that. Do you have any problems with, with Cooper's shot there? You're down one. I told the whole team. I mean, I, you gotta, I mean you'll learn. I mean, I let the play. That was a that was a flow play. That's how we play, whether it's 30 seconds into the game or 30 seconds to go in the game. Let them play. He's a, he's a guy. Talk, like he said, we work out before every game. I see him shoot that shot all the time. I'm good with it. Get the ball to your best. There's no guarantee we're going to get a better shot than a wide open three, with 30 seconds to go in the game. We're fine. I'm fine with that. Anything else? Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys.